If managing multiple clients and team members feels overwhelming, we've got the perfect solution to simplify your agency or team's workflow. In this video, we'll show you how Social Bee can transform your social media management by efficiently organizing clients in workspaces, assigning user roles to your team members, and streamlining the content approval process. Stay tuned to see how Social Bee can make your agency run smoother and more effectively. First, let's dive into the core of your Social Bee setup, managing your workspaces and users. Social Bee's workspaces allow you to manage multiple brands or clients separately within the same Social Bee account. You can think of these workspaces as sub accounts. Each workspace can have its own team members, content categories, schedules, and settings. This makes it easy to keep everything organized and efficient. To manage your workspaces, click on the name menu at the top right corner of your screen. Here, you can click on Switch Workspace. If you already have multiple workspaces set up, you'll be able to navigate from one to the next. And if you don't, you can create a new workspace by clicking on the Create New Workspace button. Give your workspace a name and you're ready to go. You can also choose to go through the workspace onboarding process every time you create a new workspace so that you can set it up properly. If you already have your social profiles connected in a different workspace, you can migrate them from your social accounts tab. If you don't see the social accounts tab, you can go into your workspace settings and then navigate to the social accounts tab from there. In your new workspace, once you're in the social accounts tab, you'll see a button called migrate social accounts at the top right corner of your screen. First thing you'll need to do to migrate is to choose the workspace you want to move profiles from. Then you'll be able to select the profiles you want to bring in to your new workspace. If you have any content assigned to those profiles there, all the categories that have content assigned to these profiles need to be set to green in order for the migration to work. If your category is red, it means the content in that category is shared between different profiles and not all of the profiles are being migrated. So either select more profiles or separate the posts so that you only have content that you will want to migrate. Depending on the plan that you're on, you may have access to one or more workspaces and users, but if you need more than what your plan accommodates by default, you can always purchase additional workspaces or users from your pricing tab. Once your workspace is set up, it's time to add users. Navigate to the Workspace Users section in your name menu and click on the Add New User button. Here, you can add the email of the user you want to invite and assign one of the following user roles. The manager can create content, add profiles or schedules and users, but doesn't have access to billing. The publisher can create and manage content, but cannot access workspace settings or user management. The contributor can only create drafted content and view analytics. By default, the owner of the account has a manager role with access to the billing and all of the plan's features. The user you've invited will get an email notification with a link to be able to join your workspace by creating a new account or adding the workspace to their existing Social Bee account. You can assign roles based on your team's needs to ensure that everyone has the appropriate level of access. Now that you've got your workspace and user set up, let's move on to another crucial aspect of your Social Bee workflow, the content approval. Once your team starts producing content, the content approval workflow is crucial to ensure that only the best content gets published. Social Bee makes this process seamless. To start, navigate to the content menu in your workspace and then to the content approval tab. Here's how the content approval process works. In Social Bee, each post can be saved as a draft, which requires approval, or as approved, meaning it's ready to get published. And you'll see its status as a toggle at the top right corner of each post. You can approve your content by toggling it on green and to the right, which means approved, or keep it as a draft. The content approval tab will only show drafted content, but you can also see approved posts inside of your categories. You'll be able to filter your content for different profiles, 
and different sources, allowing you to distinguish between content imported through the RSS feeds, for instance, and content that's been created by your team. If you need to provide feedback to your team on a specific post, click on the notes button at the bottom left corner of each post. You'll see a history of whatever else happened to that post in the notes here, and you can also leave the feedback directly to your colleagues. You can even mention the user responsible for making those edits, and they'll get a notification on their email with your feedback. Once your content is approved, it will be published according to your predefined schedule, or you can publish it immediately depending on your preference. Please make sure that your content is approved and scheduled and that your profiles are set to running from your dashboard in order for content to go out. To keep track of the approved posts, you can use the Categories tab in the Content menu. On the category of your choice, click on View Posts to see the content in that category. And then you'll be able to see a list of all of your posts in that category. If you need a refresher on how categories work, check the link in our description. SocialBee's content approval flow not only ensures quality, but also enhances collaboration within your team. With clear roles and an efficient approval process, everyone knows what they need to do and when, making your workflow smoother and more productive. If you're experiencing any issues with your workflow or any other SocialBee feature, please reach out to our team at success at socialbee.com.